Hey guys, currently we are on the beta for the update and today we're going to be checking out the new Hunter Power Pack and we are definitely going to be testing out all of these rifles and I thought Moose would be a great place to start because we can test all three of them out on Moose. We are also going to go through exactly how the new pre-saved loadouts are going to work. We're going to check out the new free trophy lodge and some of the things that came with this new amazing update. Now I'm in my store and there it is, the mall. Palmer 7mm Magnum. All right. So when you do purchase the DLC, guys, the weapons are completely free once you've purchased the DLC. So you just have to go into your store and purchase it for $0. So we're going to buy that baby. Sweet. Now, because we do now have skins for all of the weapons, they only come out in one variation because we're going to be customizing them basically ourselves. There's the Olsen Model 23 Bolt Action 308. We're going to buy that. And there it is, the Bolt Bolt action 338. Okay. Now all of these use the ammo that we already have in game. I'm going to be using the polymer tips. So this is where we do our pre-saved loadouts. Okay. So let me just do a loadout. Then we will actually save it. So this is a feature that we have been asking for for a very long time. Customizable, savable loadouts. So I'm going to make one with the new weapon pack. So there's the 7 mil Malmer, the Olsen. 308 and there is the bolt action 338 so just in case you're wondering the 7 mil is good for classes 4 to 9 the bolt action 308 is good for classes 4 to 8 and the bolt action 338 is good for classes 7 to 9 so for this loadout i am also going to take with me the 243 i doubt i can fit a 22 as well no i cannot Okay, now I guess with this loadout, I always carry all of my ammo with me. I don't really need to do that anymore. Okay, I have the Argus and the Hyperion. I'm gonna load it out with the Whitetail and the Moose Collar. Got both my Apex View and Gen Zero binoculars, and I think that is good enough. So then, I'm going to rename this Power Pack Loadout. Oh, we can customize, so I can highlight this baby, press C. So there's our Malmer 7mm Magnum Bolt Action. Very sweet. So there's some little sound effects in there that we never used to have, so that's kind of cool. Okay, that one is done. And I press S to save the loadout. So now it is saved. So now I can go to loadout two and I can create another one. I'm going to do a loadout for my whitetail grind. So when I am grinding for whitetail, why don't I take the new seven mil and the new 308? Why don't I try that? There it is. And then all I really need, I do like to take a 22 with me and that's just to turn the deer, Argus and the Hyperion have my grunt collar. I do need the apex view binoculars. I'm gonna throw tripods in there. Can I fit tents too? Oh, so close, but no cigar. All right, well, I might as well grab scent illuminator and a health pack. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename that. I'm gonna call this my white tail loadout. Okay, and then we're gonna press S. Saved! Now we have two different loadouts. It's all you have to do, guys. Just literally click on the little arrow and pick your loadout. Oh my gosh, this is gonna save us so much time. I am so excited about that. I'm gonna take all of our new Hunter Power Pack bolt actions and we're gonna go hunt some moose because what I wanna do now is test out the new spook radius that we have been told has been reduced and check out all the changes with this update. So you'll already notice in the top right hand corner guys when you spot an animal without actually pulling up the map and putting your cursor on the green circle which will give you an exact measurement. So the moose I just spotted was 274.43 meters away. You can actually just spot it. It will give you an estimate and then you can zero based on that estimate and that will definitely help you when you are in a rush. And I also notice in the bottom left hand corner it's giving us more direction on how to run the game. You can place your waypoint with the left click of the mouse, which I had programmed it like that before, but for it to be automatically programmed like that is very sweet. So he's 295 meters away, which is pretty much smack right in the middle of the estimate that they're giving us. Now guys, let me know in the comments what you are most excited for in this new update. I think for me, it's... There's a lot to be excited about, but I am so excited about animals coming into their need zones faster and we will definitely be testing this today. We're also gonna be hunting some whitetail as I need to know how my whitetail grind is going to change. Okay, so I'm just loading out 
with the regular polymers that were already in the game for each weapon. Okay guys, we have a pile of moose here, so this is perfect for testing out the new bolt action. And we do have moose on the other side, so this is gonna be very interesting. I'm just gonna take one shot and then we're gonna have a look around and see what is happening basically, how this is gonna affect our grinds. But the first thing I noticed is I loaded the map, I came into my zones and the moose are actually in their zones and that's the best thing. I am so excited about that. That is like my very favorite thing in this entire update is the fact that animals come into their zones way faster. That was rough. So when you're doing a waypoint, guys, you actually should measure right at the ground at the animal's feet, and that will give you a much more accurate reading. Are about 220 meters away. They should still spook. I think they'll spook. Okay, let's shoot this three here. Okay, so this is the bolt action 338 for the first time. Okay, now we want to be paying attention to how much recoil and basically what it's like to handle this brand new weapon. Okay, here we go. Dude, don't be blocking my shot. So not a lot of recoil. Look, they're standing around. It's definitely gonna be a lot easier to take a second moose with a follow-up shot. And look, the moose didn't spook over here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. They went alert, they're attentive, but they are not spooking. Ah, oh, this is my favorite update ever. Guys, the grind is gonna be so much better now. We're gonna be able to get so many more animals down so much faster. This is amazing, especially for those of you who are on controller. What do you think of that, guys? Pretty darn sweet. This time, we're going to use the seven millimeter. It has three shots, so I'm fully loaded. And the beauty of this weapon is ugh, it's crazy versatility. It's good for classes four all the way through nine. All right, I don't know if I can get these two, but I'm gonna try. And look, the moose are already coming back. What? <laughs> this is so great. This is so great. All right, they're gonna walk for a minute, so I'm gonna take this guy. So this is the seven mil bolt action. Here we go. Ooh, that felt powerful. He definitely took a little longer to run than he would have before. I didn't get a good shot. Oh, he's going down. And I put a second shot into him and now he is definitely going down. All right, we did some damage. Let's see what happened there. And that's the reload animation for the seven mil and it's very fast. Actually, it reloads really fast. Okay, here is our moose. So this is our very first down moose with the bolt action 338. We managed a single lung there. So not crazy penetration. That was only a 157 meter shot, perfectly broadside, and it did not manage to get the second lung. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. We're gonna have to definitely do a comparison video comparing the 300 with the new bolt action 338. That is definitely coming very soon, but it did agree Great job, and that is one very dead moose. Look at the blood. It definitely has some shimmer to it that I didn't notice before on the rock. I think that looks pretty cool. I love all the little detail changes. They really pay attention to the details. EW, you are knocking it out of the park. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for early access. It is just so amazing. So as we go through the video, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of all of these changes and what your absolute favorite change is. I would love to know. Okay, my dude. So two single lung shots with the seven mil there. Hard to really check the penetration. That's an angular shot. We're gonna have to take a perfectly broadside shot to be able to specifically test the penetration. But the seven mil did a great job and that was from 215 meters. But so far so good. I am loving these new bolt actions. Hey guys, this is your once a video friendly reminder to please hit that like button if you are enjoying the video so it can spread to more people. Thank you guys so much. Okay, the next thing I wanna check out is the new trophy lodge. So we're gonna go over here to Trophy Lodges. And here we have Leighton Lake Trophy Cabin. So it's not actually on the Leighton map. You do have to access it through your Trophy Lodges menu. So I'm gonna click right here, create the lodge. I would imagine you can create five of this lodge just like the other lodges we have in the game and that's the max that you can have. So once you've created it, scroll down, there it is. And I'm going to click go to lodge. What a beautiful loading screen. Okay, this is my first time here. Yes. Oh, we went in there fast. Okay, 
So this is the new Leighton Lakes Trophy Lodge and their attention to detail is insane. And look at that guys, we have skull mounts. Who thinks we're getting skull mounts in the game? Uh, kinda looks like it is going to go that way and I'm very excited about that. Yes, please EW. Okay, so I'm going to actually show the mounts and I don't think you have to actually put a fallow deer here, but it tells you, it basically gives you a suggestion of what will fit there. So I can press, oh, maybe I do. There's my piebald fallow. Okay, so only red deer fit in there. You have to put exactly what is on the label. That is all that the game will allow you to put in here, which is completely different from every other lodge where you can put whatever you want anywhere as long as it fits on that mount. So why don't we pick our biggest diamond here, which is, looks like 267. Nice big red deer. It's a little bit dark in here, but it is absolutely beautiful. And this chandelier, holy, that is stunning. Okay, roe deer, I have no roe deer. <laughs> Why was my great one moose not in the lodge? Okay, there's my, one of my great one moose and he looks pretty insane up there. You can definitely play around with the position. I gotta admit, he looks pretty insane up there. Not too bad. I have many, many white tail. We'll put a nice big boy in there. No black tail right now. If you do want to put trophies from your other lodges, just go into your other lodges, pull them off the wall so that when you come in here, they will be available to put up in this lodge. So I think I'm going to put all of my very best trophies in this room. Okay, I need to put my light on. There we go. Who thinks that looks super cool? Yes. Okay, let's go up and just have a very quick tour. So one day I would like to be able to put my own trophy captures right on the wall in the lodge. Wouldn't that be so great? I've had a lot of people in the comments complain that they just purchased a trophy lodge and now they don't need it. You still need it. You definitely still need it. I'm going to be putting my absolute best of the best trophies from Leighton in here. I hope they put one of these out for every single map. Okay, it's not just Leighton. Maybe it's Leighton and Hirschfelden because there's one for wild boar and we do not have wild boar in Leighton Lakes. Okay, coyote, red fox, Merriam turkey, ringneck pheasant. Okay, so it's Leighton and Hirschfelden. These are for trophies from the non-DLC maps. But man, the detail in here and the fact that this is an absolutely free lodge for everyone that's going to come with the base game is a pretty crazy amazing detail and very cool of EW to add to the game. This whole lodge might fit 15 animals. It's not gonna fit a whole lot. It's only for the best of the best and it's only for those non-DLC maps but they did an absolutely amazing job and I'm still enamored by this chandelier. Okay guys, so now we're in Revon Tuli Coast. I'd like to hit a couple whitetail zones and test out both the seven mil and the 308 bolt action on whitetail and also check how they're going to respond with the new update. So now I can just literally swap over to my whitetail loadout. That's all I have to do and I am ready to go. How amazing is that? I am so excited but I do still have to load it out. Now, one thing that has also been fixed with this update, guys, is animals teleporting while they're drinking. That was super annoying and can definitely cause you to mess shots up. That is supposed to be fixed now, so that is a great improvement. We definitely have Whitetail here, and it is time to try out the 308 bolt action and see if it's a viable Whitetail grind weapon. Okay, two lined up, real nice and pretty. Here we go. A double splat! It did an absolutely beautiful job. Double lung! Double lung! Amazing penetration! So the penetration from the 308, 250 meters, is actually extremely impressive. Not too bad. And then right lung busted through the scapula and into the right lung there. And that was a 253 meter shot. And we were able to drop two. So the 308, pretty sweet. Okay, so now we are going to be testing out the 7 mil to see if it is a viable weapon for doing the Whitetail Great One grind with. Now it has only three shots, so definitely I will be carrying a second weapon that I can cycle over to if I don't get a good shot and I am shooting on the run. Now let's see if he runs immediately because before they were giving you just about zero time to take that second Whitetail down. 
beautiful! And if I wanted to take a third... And splat! <laughs> I am loving the seven mil so far! And that's the reload animation, and it's pretty darn quick. 232 is a pretty sweet whitetail, and we did get double long there from 175 meters, and he definitely went splat. Loving the power of the 7 mil, and having a follow-up shot. Another double long. Another deer that literally hit the dust immediately. Oh, I got thoracic, but that definitely destroyed him. So far, I am loving the 7 mil. Holy. I think this new 7 mil bolt action might just be my new favorite weapon in the entire game. So as of right now, guys, the patch notes have not yet been released, but as soon as they are out, I will make a video detailing every single change that comes with this update. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, I'm going to recommend you click right here for the trophy lodge tour. This will definitely give you a direct comparison between different trophy lodges as well as a complete trophy lodge tour thanks for watching guys and we will definitely see you guys in the next one